Will Crockett here from Discover Mirrorless and Shoot Smarter, replying to your email submitted on discovermirrorless.com. This one uh, from across the puddle. Martin Valentine, hey buddy, thanks for your email. Excellent question. Says, hey Will, uh, shooting a Canon 650, which is, he quotes here, the T4. Okay, I'm, I'm very familiar with T2s, T3s, T4s. Uh, he's using a 15 to 85 and a 70 to 200 f4. Terrific, right? Those are the lenses we got to use, certainly as pros, to make money. He says that his interests are landscape photography and sometimes air shows in the UK. He says his concern is the GH3 and its continuous autofocus on video may not keep up, not so much with the trees <laughs> swaying in the breeze, but with air shows. So let's talk about that. The autofocus function of video on all DSLRs is pretty bad, right? You probably already know that, any DSLR. Even our big ones, uh, hop back on the, the channel, look for our comparison of autofocus with our D800 with the 70 to 200 f2.8 versus the GH3. Now, not that we're promoting any specific camera. What we're trying to do is get the point across that if you're going to get serious with hybrid photography and you want the ability to be confident to know that you can shoot a still photo with autofocus and video with autofocus, you won't be able to do that with a DSLR, with one exception, right? The Sony big boy DSLRs, the A99, it has excellent autofocus, but it's not a DSLR. In fact, totally different technology, plus it's crazy expensive, whatever. It's out of the, it's out of the price range of most folks. The GH3 is a landmark camera. It is. It has crazy breakthrough. When you couple it with the pro lenses that Lumix has in their line, as well as the new ones that came back in, and I'm getting to my point here, don't mean to make this sound too long and rolling, but when you put on their 12 to 35, that's a pro zoom, f2.8 constant aperture, and you put on the 35 to 100 f2.8 constant aperture, that now, that 35 to 100 is the replacement to your 70 to 200, in this case, the Lumix is f2.8, constant aperture, smaller, lighter. You've seen my reviews about it. It's a, it's a glorious lens. That's what's going to kill the DSLR. It's not mirrorless cameras. It's that particular lens because that 70 to 200 is massive. The 35 to 100, which does the same basic thing, is much, much smaller. And it autofocuses with video better. Here's your answer. If you use a GH3 or you lose, use a Lumix G5, you'll be able to enable the autofocus tracking mode and select the area on the back of the screen in which you want it to track and then tap on where you want it to hang on to and it really will do a great job of autofocus. Where you're going to get into problems buddy is if you're shooting with a, with a lens and you have somebody running or trotting directly towards you that autofocus will not keep up. So if I'm shooting a gate, right, this is one of Panasonic's premium lenses, by the way. This is the 25 millimeter F1.4 Leica lens, which is phenomenally spectacular in every way. It is, guys, it is. Well, this autofocus on this particular lens isn't the speediest autofocus in the universe, but the autofocus tracking system does a great job with anything on the GH3 or the G5 when you're when your person or something subject moves left and right, it'll stay focused with it, keep exposure on it perfectly. When it moves slowly towards you, it'll keep up pretty well too. Not perfect, pretty well. If it runs quickly towards you, there's no autofocus in the world that's gonna keep up with that yet. I just wanna be honest with you. Autofocus is a privilege, not a right. Right? It's there. It works really good. If you have something where you're going to have uh, an object moving really close towards you, if you're, if you're skilled enough, you can manually focus and track that right as best you can. You can also get a little lever, sorry, a little lever that fits on the front of your lens uh, from a company called Cinevate that will allow you to move that focus back and forth. But I think you will find the autofocus on the GH3 Plus, their premium lenses. Now, now, there's a bunch of crappy lenses that Lumix and Olympus make too. Stay away from those, right? They stink. There's great ones and there's horrible ones. Best autofocus in the entire universe that I've ever seen night or day would be a Lumix G5 or Lumix GH3 with their 20mm f1.7 pancake lens. Oh, 
autofocus, like lightning. It, it feels like it focuses before you think you want to have it focused. <laughs> Sorry for the long reply here, man. Thank you for the great question, too, please. And if you're not connected already to shoot, oh, sorry, to Discover Mirrorless, click that connect button in the upper right corner of Discover Mirrorless and stay in touch with us, okay? Lots more to learn. Bye.